chest x-ray interpretation, emphysema and COPD. The term emphysema is almost a synonym with COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Lungs are elastic structures. They stretch and increase their volume during expiration, and they decrease in size to do the opposite during expiration. Emphysema is a condition in which walls of the alveoli get damaged permanently. As a result of damage, the walls between alveoli start disappearing, and lung tissue ends up having small and big areas of spaces that lose the primary function of gas exchange. So this is a lung tissue under a microscope. This is a normal area. Uh, you can see the normal alveoli with the walls between them versus this area, this area, this area, and especially this area. There are no walls between the alveoli, and this area is functionless. As a result, less air flows in and out of the airways because alveoli have lost their elastic uh, function. The walls between the air spaces are destroyed, the airways are inflamed, and airways also make more mucus which uh, tries to block the airways partially or fully. If partial blockage, they create one-way trap. More air comes in and less goes out. Patient does labored breathing to meet its, its uh, oxygen needs. The loss of elasticity is thought to be a result of loss of elastic fibers. Macrophages and neutrophils, which are white blood cells and are, all, uh, and are always present in lungs, release enzymes known as proteins, whose function is to break up proteins. These enzymes can be harmful for lung tissue. So nature creates protease inhibitors, mainly alpha-1 antitrypsin, which prevents this damage. Smoking damages the lung in several ways to digest inhaled particles that go into lungs as a result of smoking. The number of macrophages and neutrophils increases in lung, which in result release excess proteins, which causes damage. Smoking also reduces anti-protease activity and thus doubles the damage. Now, emphysema can also be a result of few other pathologies, but air trapping is the one feature which will always be present and structural changes as a result of air trapping and damage will always be visible on a chest x-ray. The x-ray on your left hand side is normal, while the lungs are emphysematous in the x-ray on your right hand side. The radiologic features of emphysema are hyperinflated lung. So the lungs in this x-ray are hyperinflated. The rule of the thumb is that the lung tissue should not be visible beyond the seventh anterior rib. So this is first posterior rib, which continues anteriorly. So first anterior rib, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this is the seventh anterior rib. So the lung tissue is not visible beyond the seventh anterior rib versus in the x-ray on your right hand side the lung tissue is visible well beyond the seventh anterior rib. This is the sign that uh, lungs have increased in volume and this is the first radiologic feature of emphysema. The second feature is hyperlucency of lungs. Means lungs look a bit darker than normal with few vascular markings. So this lung tissue looks a bit darker as compared to normal lung and there are less vascular markings as compared to the normal x-ray. The third feature is loss of normal crescent shape of hemidiaphragms. The hemidiaphragms in this x-ray are nice and crescent in shape versus in this x-ray the diaphragms are flat. Another feature is the narrowing of transverse diameter of uh, transverse diameter of this is transverse diameter of heart and I'll show you a good x-ray so loss of or narrowing of transverse diameter of heart is very clearly visible in this x-ray the lungs are hyperinflated they look darker than normal the diaphragms are flat a very classic picture of emphysema Somebody may argue that this uh, hyperlucency may be a result of overexposure. Well, this film is not 
overexposed because if it was overexposed you would see the thoracic spine nowadays however we do the digital x-rays and you would be able to see the lung tissue a bit uh, better because of the manipulation uh, you can do to the x-ray this is a non-digital image however often you would be able to see the big pockets of a vascular areas known as bullet so this is an a vascular area and if this is bigger than this you would normally see it on an x-ray as an a vascular area which may mimic a pneumothorax so it, this area looks like a pneumothorax what happens in pneumothorax that air goes into the pleural space and that collapses the lung but in pneumothorax you will see the visceral pleura just above the normal uh, lung tissue or the collapsed lung tissue there is no visceral pleura here so this is a big bulla I would also like to show you a lateral view again hyperinflated lung barrel shaped thoracic cavity another feature of MC meters lung AP diameter which is this is increased and look the diaphragms are very very flat on a lateral view you should see a dome shaped diaphragm I would like to thank Dr. Chandra Shekhar for allowing me to use x-rays from his website this x-ray is from Flickr thank you to the gentleman who uploaded the x-ray with uh, creative common license this is from Wikipedia and rest of the x-rays are from Dr. Chandra Shekhar's website this is from YouTube with kind permission these are the are the references and the video has been prepared for academyprofessions.com you can actually download this presentation from this website and you would be able to see the extras in much better quality thank you very much